Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton, and if you've been using the events calendar and you're trying to figure out how to add it to a main navigation, maybe you just want calendar linked up at the top or events linked up at the top, or maybe in the footer somewhere, you're trying to link to your calendar. I'm gonna show you how to do that all right now in the budget of free. assuming that you're already using the events calendar, but if you're not, I've got a link in the description box below that you can go check out to see all of its cool features and how to install it. But for today, I just want to show you once you have it installed, how to actually go in and add it into your navigation. So once you already have the events calendar installed, you can go into settings and you'll see this screen right here. This is the link. It says, where's my calendar? Do you see that little link right here? If you click on that, it's going to actually give you, there you go, see up at the top right up here? Right up here shows events inside of that URL. If you grab that little forward slash events, grab that on your clipboard, copy it on your clipboard, let's jump into the navigation area into our appearance and menu, and I'll show you how to add it right up here. Menus. This is your main menu, right? You might have multiple menus, but you wanna be sure that you're choosing your main primary menu if that's where you wanna add it. And right now, what we're gonna do is go over here to this left side and look for custom links. You're gonna see events right here. Those are individual events, right? But for custom links, right? We're going to drop in that forward slash events and we're going to say events or calendar or community or whatever you might want that to say, right? And by default, of course, it always drops our menu items to the bottom. I'm gonna drag it up and drop it right there. And of course, scroll down to the bottom and click Save Menu. Then when we go back to the front side of your website now, visit the site, now it lives right up here. Click on that and it takes us over to our awesome landing page with all of our events if you've got any published. Also, for anybody interested in adding it in, you know if you're using the free version of the events calendar that it does not come with a short code so that you can just drop it in easily and quickly to any page. That really is more of a pro feature, but this might be a really great little workaround for you. It's got an awesome video that just walks you through how to install short code and get these embedded in different pages if you need help with that using the blocks or short code. So be sure to check out this. I'll put a link to this awesome resource for you in the description box below. Y'all, I know that was a really quick little video, but guess what? This is video number 500 for me here on this channel. What? Oh my goodness, I can't believe that the day has finally come. I've been in the WordPress community since 2008, and this open source, incredible resource, and amazing community have changed my life. And I hope that this little give back of all these videos every single week is blessing you the same way the community has blessed me. I'll list a few of my all-time favorite videos that I've been able to do in the description box below, but always check out my website. I'll have that link in there as well. That you can see some really fun pictures of speaking in the community over the years and some amazing people who've spoken into my life and mentored me as well. Thanks for taking a few extra minutes with me here. I hope you're having a great one. I will see y'all next WordPress Wednesday. Bye everyone.